Hi, welcome to the Dow Market View for Wednesday the 17th of September 2014. Uh, starting off uh, to the left of the chart there, you can see the market didn't really do an awful lot uh, pre-market except come down uh, below the DP level test and then uh, find support with uh, huge professional buying coming into the market here and then prices uh, starting to move higher. Here we have uh, some selling pressure inside or just above the DP which is also the 17,000 level as well the psychological level the market's been struggling to stay above uh, during Monday session and the early part of Tuesday's um, overnight session as well. So there's some selling pressure here and then the market uh, breaks through this and moves higher. We get the buy signal from the off there so let's just um, mark that one up and we see prices trading quite uh, quickly all the way through the uh, the scalp figure there and then just trading sideways so the maximum available on uh, this trade uh, for the very first trade which was the buy signal up to sort of the the maximum there was around 43 points for the first trade the market then traded sideways for the next um, half an hour hour or so and then we had a couple of sell signals these coming in at uh, 1555 and everything was going fine until uh, the uh, Chinese decided they wanted to print 81 billion to uh, stimulate the Chinese economy and of course uh, QE is uh, the stock market's best friend and has been since 2009 or March 2009 to be precise so any hint that somebody's printing money just sent the market off into uh, a vertical rise there which uh, we see here so this was completely unexpected and uh, came out of nowhere during yesterday afternoon session which is why you've got this uh, big rise on low volume uh, the market was just pumped up and unfortunately this resulted in a 16 point loss in the short trade which was actually working its way de uh, back down quite nicely to the 17,000 psychological level again that the market's been struggling with this week which has happened to be where the, the scalp figure was for another 20 points as well but uh, there's nothing we can do about that sort of economic news coming out it wasn't uh, forecast it uh, just came out of the blue there so in the daily charts we now see uh, the Dow back up at uh, the all-time highs I would expect more of this uh, today as well which uh, you'll see why in just a moment I'm just going to uh, draw in a few lines here so you can see where we're actually uh, at as far as the uh, Dow is concerned. So we'll start again, get the right uh, one, that's what we want. So you can see there we've got this resistance. The market uh, struggled to hold above it to yesterday, 17,149. We do have a new all time high yesterday. Uh, but I would expect more later on today and the reason I say that is quite simple if we have a look at the news we have a shed load out today all of the UK stuff this morning uh, which you can have a look at but what you want to be concerned about uh, trading the Dow is going to be 7 p.m. this evening FOMC announcement on uh, five different uh, uh, subjects there uh, four actually uh, is the four Let's have a look. Yep, yeah, just on the four different uh, announcements there. So seven o'clock this evening, UK GMT BST time. Uh, stay out of the market until the market uh, shows you any sort of signals thereafter to uh, actually uh, get in. And that means when I say thereafter, I mean after they finished uh, speaking, not uh, signals that appear during uh, any uh, announcement there. So an interesting day yesterday um, and today could be interesting also uh, again my forecast would be for higher prices I can't see you know we'll get lower prices to begin with that will be ignored and the positive news will then be factored into the market and we'll keep this illusion alive biggest asset bubble in history as uh, we move forward there's not a lot uh, we can do about it except to trade with it of course. Right, well, that's it uh, for this morning. I will see you in tomorrow's. Uh, as ever, thank you for your support and also for watching. Have a good day.